Hi guys, this is like the 10th time to actually film this. I'm going to be here back on noise as the TV because this is only the best place for lighting. Because every other lighting I look very red for some reason. So, um, I'm going to take you on my journey of getting second AstraZeneca vaccine. Sorry. I'm going to take you on my journey to get this my second dose of my COVID vaccine. And I'm getting AstraZeneca. Um... I'm getting the AstraZeneca and I'll go into detail why I'm actually getting it. Um, so, um, I got, so I, I got a text message yesterday in Ireland, you can't book your appointment. You can't book an appointment, you just have to take what they give you. So they text you and they t tell you where you have to go, the date and time, and that's about it, that's all you get, you don't really, and you can either apply yes or no, and you can only decline it two times before you're not offered it again. So, so I got it yesterday, and I said yes, and I also got another one. Funny enough, three hours later, I got another one saying for a different for today at one. I couldn't do that one, so I said no. But um, I just kind of hope that my appointment is still there tomorrow, tomorrow because I said yes to yes to tomorrow's one and i said no for today's one so i'm hoping it's still there praying that's still there i emailed them but they didn't get back to me so um there's nothing else i can really do about that um so um when i'm getting astrazeneca i'm getting astrazeneca because i got my first dose before i because I know this is going to come in the comments, that's why I'm actually saying this now. Um, I got my first dose before the age restrictions came in. Ireland was a bit longer to put, took a bit longer to put the age restrictions in. So I had my first vaccine like a week. Sorry, my arm is getting tired, so I have to hold it with my other one. Um, like I had my other one like three weeks before they actually got age restrictions. And um, so, obviously, when you get your first one, you're going to need your second one. And, like, Ireland isn't going to maybe reason why I'm getting the vaccine because I have a lot of medical conditions and I won't survive it. I won't survive getting coronavirus. And, um, and because, um, And because I'm technically in the vulnerable category anyway, so because of the medical conditions I have. So, see you after the vaccine. Hey guys, it's the next day after me getting the vaccine. Um, I got the vaccine on Friday, which is yesterday. I got the vaccine yesterday at three minutes, at six minutes past three. So, in the evening in the afternoon and it's currently Saturday morning so the side effects are a lot better this time around I was floored on the first one I was very sick on the first dose but on the second dose this is considerably better I've taken AstraZeneca I took AstraZeneca just for anybody known wants to know what vaccine I got it was AstraZeneca and um second time round was considerably better. I got, um, the only thing I really woke up with is a temperature because I was about freezing and I took my temperature and it was up, which is kind of normal for vaccines anyway. And I got a bit of aches. It's almost like you just got like, you know, the flu type of thing. Um, but um, that's all I really have. And maybe my stomach's a bit off, but it's not sick, it's just a bit off, like I'm not really hungry or anything. I don't really have much of an appetite. But other than that, I'm fine. My face is a, is a bit swollen. It happened with the first one, the first dose, and now after I got the second dose, I woke up with a swollen face. I don't know why that's from, but I just get it. So my face looks a bit swollen. Um. Quite a lot swollen actually, um, but that happened to first dose. So I don't know why it happens, but it's obviously just a side effect to the vaccine. But um, I'm considerably a lot better. 
like the first dose I was very sick with but this dose I've seen to be a lot better like the side effects are nowhere near as bad this time around than in the first dose uh, so that's really good uh, and I didn't get any footage in the hospital because you're not actually allowed to film in the hospital and um, so um, they have no film policy and plus there's so much people around it'd be kind of awkward to film because um, just because it's um, it's kind of awkward so after you get your vaccine um, you have to wait 15 minutes in a room which I did and I was fine and then I went home so um, I looked at showing you but I can't really so um, sorry about that this video is just about me talking and I was kind of boring but like I hope it puts people's nerves at ease and thanks for watching this channel any anti-vaxxers in the comments will be deleted because I don't like people spreading misinformation about the vaccine so um thanks for watching like comment and subscribe bye